Hey there, Internet Keeve here, and welcome to the Cars of Keeve YouTube channel. And in this video, we're trying something a little different. So it's not necessarily something related to cars, but maybe it is because it cleans the surface that I clean my cars on. So it's a surface cleaner for gas pressure washers. But we're going to try it on the electric one and see what it does. And you can tell this is a quality product. It's not something that's going to break on you. It's all stainless steel. It's, there's just no, there's no weak points that I can see. So you may ask yourself, why do companies send out this stuff to review for free? Well, it's really hard to get on that first page on Amazon when you search. I already looked at this one, it has no ratings. Nobody said anything good or bad about it because people don't buy things that don't have rating. And a lot of times these companies, they need people to give reviews, people that have, I don't know if you say a reputation, but you have video evidence of it working. And I tell these companies all the time, I do unbiased reviews. I'll post an okay review, but if it's just a bad product, I won't show it because I just don't want to endorse it. I don't want to give it the attention that it needs because it's just not worth it. So if you're seeing this, then that means it worked out. Here's the unit. It's a 15 inch housing. You have three brackets with 360 degree non-marking casters. Uh, they feel to be uh, like a polyurethane or a rubberish. It's all stainless steel. You have your main unit here where you connect the quick disconnect to your extensions. And actually within this quarter inch quick disconnect right here has an impurities filter. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to see that or not. Let's see if we can get you to focus on that. There we go, we got the focus. You can see that filter right there built into it. That's gonna keep the little pieces from dirt from getting into those nozzles and messing them up. The unit comes with extras. You have a roll of uh, Teflon tape, two extra nozzles. You have a bunch of extra O-rings and a little bitty pin that you can use to unclog nozzles if you need to. It comes with two extensions. They're both quarter inch quick disconnect and 15 inches. Uh, it's Muturk or Mutork. I'm not quite sure the name. There's nothing on their web, uh, website or Amazon that shows how to pronounce it. So here's the bottom. You can see it's very polished. You can actually see my face in there. Here's the rotating head. Dual nozzle. They're aimed in opposite directions and they're 25 degrees made of 304 stainless. You have the hard nylon bristle brush that is attached with the stainless steel bracket that actually be taken off and can be adjusted. Uh, you can see the casters from the bottom, how freely they move. They're not really loose or anything. Overall, the build quality is great so far. I haven't used it yet, so we're gonna have to find out. But just from a feel, everything seems tightened down right. There doesn't seem to be any loose or weak points that I can see. The whole unit came like this in the box, already put together. The only thing that wasn't put together was just the extensions and you know the extra pieces. So let's go try this out. You're gonna find out just as quickly as I am how well this does. Since this is meant for gas pressure washers, I'm bringing out my gas pressure washer. I've had this thing from Home Depot for more than five years. It's a 2700 PSI 2.3 gallons per minute. It's a 7.75 color engine. The brand is Simpson. I don't even know if they make this anymore, but if they have it, I'll, I'll look it up and give you guys a link for it. So we're gonna be using part of my wash cart for this. We have the hose there and the water gun and everything. And I'm actually going to try to use the electric pressure washer with this too. Now I know they say this is meant for 2200 minimum PSI and mainly gas pressure washers, but we're just gonna see if the active VE52 can run this unit at what it says 1800 PSI, but it's not, it's like 1100 working PSI, 1800 max, but it is 2.0 gallons per minute. And that's 2.3. So maybe we have just enough water flow to get it done. All right, so let's set this up. We're gonna put our extensions on. Make sure that they're clicked in. We have our SGS 28 gun that we use to wash our cars with. Our hose and everything is all the same. Everything is well rated over 4,000 PSI, so we're good there. Let's walk this around. So it's like the perfect height that the, between the two extensions and the SGS 28 is right at my hip, right where I want to be. I don't want to do a lot of reaching with this. I want to walk back and forth with it. So from an ergonomic standpoint, pretty dang good. So actually last minute I figured, let's just see what it's like with my SGS 28 gun with the 25 degree tip that came with the unit. It's a 5.0 orifice. Uh, and then we'll see the cleaning power of the two. They're both 25 degrees, so that should be a good comparison.
So I learned a lot on that pass. So the next section, we're going to take what we learned and then apply it there. I definitely learned I was probably going a little bit too fast. I went forward and then back on an overlap. You really should go forward and back on the same path, then switch over to a half overlap and go back and forth to make sure you get really good coverage. Well, I must say, I really couldn't be happier with the results. Uh, once I learned overlapping, proper speed, dual coverage, it worked out really well. There wasn't much at all to clean up with the pressure washer, other than you will have to go back with a sweeping motion to get a lot of the dirty water that gets, you know, in the little undulations of the cement, get it off. So in that section, something I really learned was when you're going towards the edge, you kind of want to have so you have your nozzle this way. This doesn't spin, right? This doesn't spin freely here. This only goes back and forth this way. So if you're going towards the edge, you're gonna want your quick disconnect wand to be hooked up this way. So when you push towards the edge, you can get closer to the edge. If you have it this way, which this is really cool for leading your overlap edge to make sure you have a nice line. When you go over the edge, you fall off before you get to the edge. It's a lot harder to push it towards the edge. So also, when you're trying to run along the edge, you're going to want the two casters on the outside. That way you can get off the edge. If you're sitting out there, you're not going to be able to move side by side very well. But let's try the electric pressure washer. I do think it'll work better overall if you had a higher end electric pressure washer that has well over 2,000 PSI. This is 1,800 working at 1,100. I don't think it's enough, but we're going to play with it anyway, right? Well, as you can see, it didn't clean great, but as you can see, there is a line here and a line there. So it did clean this area somewhat, if not kind of sweep it. Um, but if you had a high rain pressure washer, I do think it would do pretty good. It has to have well over 2000 PSI though. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Every once in a while I'll do something just outside of that car relation, but it still is. It's still the driveway. I hope you kind of enjoyed me doing this outdoors the whole time. It's just really nice outside, nice and breezy. It's only like 80 degrees, so I felt like I should go ahead and film the whole thing outside. The Muturk uh, surface cleaner works great. Uh, I have no complaints whatsoever. Solid construction. It worked really well. It actually worked with the electric pressure washer. Didn't have as much cleaning power, but it did work. The only issue I have is I really can't show you the true potential of how this thing cleans because I have a lower end gas pressure washer. But that is what most people will have. So I really like to see the potential of this with a three or even a 4,000 PSI pressure washer. So check the link in the description below for this product. I'm going to go ahead and leave myself a review on it as well to get it some reviews. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. I had an air conditioning. Uh, I'm just we're talking way too much. And on this video, we're going to go over. Oh my God. There's the kids again. footage and everything so I said hey I wanted to get outside because it was nice it is a bit windy but and then that it's a 4.0 inline jeep it's not fast just noisy. So we got the noise going that way. They're fixing to come back this way. Hopefully they continue on and don't go back in their driveway. Oh. They decided to go down the side road next to my house. All that noise and it's a four liter inline Jeep went nowhere.
went like 10 feet. Hundred bucks as he guns it. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, no. There he is. Jeez. Oh, he just pulled out in front of the other truck. I just saw it through my window. Wow. Go away. Go away, go away. Go away. Go away. Okay, let's get this, let's get this over with. We can, we can do music to me, you know, cleaning the deck. I guess it's good though. Blue Reel's gonna be good. All right, here we go. Car related, it cleans the surface that I clean the cars on. Any if it's not good. At least that guy's quick. He's like up and down real quick and he doesn't stay making that noise. The only issue is that, the only issue I have, um, really the only, this is why I don't go outside.